Before starting the video, I would like to tell you something about ibpsguide.com. In their website, they daily provide you with free questions which will help you boost your preparation of either banking examination or SSC examination. Also, you can check out their test series which has very high standard questions and also all the questions are accompanied by detailed solutions. Okay, so you don't have to wonder here and there for the solutions and also towards the end of the test, they provide you with analysis that how well you have performed which are the areas which you must work on also the tests are available in both the language that is hindi and english so you can switch between both the languages and it is accessible either on mobile application or desktop whichever suits you okay for more information about ibps guide quality mocks you can visit their e-store that is e-store.ibpsguide.com now let's move on to our video hello friends welcome to ibps guide in this particular video we'll be solving a missing tabular data interpretation problem which will be very important for your sbipo pre-exam as well as RRB PO pre and you can expect similar type of question in your RBI grade B pre exam as well as RRB PO mains examination also okay so without any further ado let's move on to our question so the direction of the question is data related to the number of employees in five different companies in December 2015 so basically ye jo aapko tabular di de rakha hai isme aapko table mein kya de rakha hai there are five companies that is Infosys Hindustan Reliance Mahindra and Grasim and this second column is indicating the total number of employees working in these five companies in December 2005-15, right? Now, again, if I talk about third column, ki baat karun, pe kya hai? out of the total number of employees, so total number of employees, for example, in Enforces, the total number of employees is what? 1050, okay? If I take 32%, what is percentage of agricultural graduate? Now, the total number of uh, employees are divided into three categories, that is agricultural graduate, medical graduates and science graduate okay so if i want to find out the total number of agricultural graduate so aapko kitna dena padega 32 percent agar aap iska lete ho so you will get the answer of that okay similarly agar aapko yahan pe medical graduate nikalna hai so you have to find this data and likewise for science graduate you have to find this data likewise agar main hindustan ki baat karu the total number of employees in hindustan company is what 700 isme medical kitne hai 31 percent aapka science kitne hai to uh, 40% so I can easily find this because total kitna hoga this is your 100% right or ye aapka 40 or 30 70 to ho gaya hai aur ye 71 so this is basically 29% likewise aap kisi bhi company mein different jo aapke paas graduate hai agriculture, medical or science ye aap nikal sakte ho okay I think ye aapka table aapko samaj aya hoga fir aap ya aapko note diya gaya hai the employee of the given company can be categorized only into three types okay so ye jo total number of employees hai they are divided into three parts only that is agricultural graduate medical graduate and science graduate there is no other classification theek hai teeni part mein hai agricultural graduate medical and science right now in the second point they are saying a few values are missing in the table indicated by dash a candidate is expected to calculate the missing value if it is required to answer the given question on the basis of given data and information okay to ye aapka since kya hai missing di hai to some data are missing if agar wo question mein aapka include hota hai to we have to find that particular data otherwise we won't be finding that data okay to ye aapka tha everything about the direction of the question now we will try to solve the questions related to this particular di so in the first question they are saying if the ratio of number of medical graduate employees to that of the science graduate employees in infosys company was 10 is to 7 then what was the number of science graduate employee in infosys company okay to ye aapko nikalna hai ab isme kya diya dijiye aapko infosys mein agar aap dekhoge to total kitna hai 1050 hai this total is basically equal to what 100 percent okay now if that number of percentage of agricultural graduate is 32 percent so i can say that the total number of medical graduate and science graduate will be what 100 minus 32 that is 68 percent okay so ye dono jo hai total mila ke kitne honge 68 percent now out of that medical ka kitna hai aapka 10 part hai so this is 10 part and this is 7 part right so total kitna ho jayega 17 so i can say that this 17 part will be equal to 68 percent right because total of medical and graduate is 17 and the total percentage value of these two is 68 percent so 17 say is 4 times card so one part will be what 4 percent now i can say that the percentage of medical graduate kitna ho jayega 10 part hai so this is basically 40 percent and this will be what multiplied by 4 that is 28 percent okay now they are asking what is the number of uh, science graduate in infosys company now that is 28 percent 28 percent of what 1050 so aapko kya nikalna hai 28 percent of 1050 okay 28 percent is 1050 ko main is tarah likh deta hu 1000 plus 50 right now this 28% uh, of 1000 will be what 280 i can directly see na 28% of 1000 will be what 280 and 28% of 50 28% of 50 will be equal to what 48% of 100 right so 14% of 100 will be what 14 only so my answer will be what 294 so in this case answer is what option a ho jayega okay i think this question is clear now let's move on to question number 2 
ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर टू में आपको क्या बोला व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द नंबर ऑफ साइंस ग्रेजुएट एम्प्लॉय एंड एग्रीकल्चर ग्रेजुएट एम्प्लॉय इन हिंदुस्तान कंपनी ओके तो हिंदुस्तान कंपनी में आपको क्या बोला कि साइंस और एग्रीकल्चर का डिफरेंस निकालना है सो आई नो दैट दिस इज टोटल हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके इफ दिस इज टोटल हंड्रेड परसेंट दीज टू आर वट सेवेंटी सो दिस विल बी वॉट ट्वेंटी नाउ दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन साइंस ग्रेजुएट एंड एग्रीकल्चर नाउ साइंस इज फोर्टी वन दिस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन सो इफ आई गिव दिस ट्वेंटी नाइन वन दिस विल बिकम थर्टी और फिर टेन देना पड़ेगा सो बेसिकली वी द डिफरेंस इज वट 11 परसेंट नाउ 11 परसेंट ऑफ वॉट सेवन हंड्रेड ओके सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वट सेवेंटी सेवन सो इन दिस केस माई आंसर इज वॉट ऑप्शन सी ओके नाउ इन द थर्ड क्वेश्चन दे आर सेंग द एवरेज नंबर ऑफ साइंस ग्रेजुएट एम्प्लॉय एंड मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट एम्प्लॉय इन ग्रासिम कंपनी वॉज थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली द एवरेज ऑफ टू थिंग्स सो टोटल विल बी वॉट थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू सो आई कैन सी दैट साइंस प्लस मेडिकल इन ग्रासिम ओके इज इक्वल टू वट थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू दैट इज सिक्स ओके okay, टोटल तो मुझे पता चल गया नाउ दिस इज टोटल 100 परसेंट आई कैन डायरेक्टली से दैट वट एवर नंबर कम्स हियर दिस विल बी टोटल 100 परसेंट सो दिस इज 35, दिस इज 50, सो टोटल इज 85, सो दिस विल बी व्हाट 15 परसेंट राइट नाउ व्हाट इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज इन ग्रासिंग कंपनी नाउ दे आर आस्किंग दिस टोटल नंबर ओके सो आई कैन सी दैट दिस इज साइंस एंड मेडिकल साइंस इज वॉट साइंस इज फिफ्टीन एंड मेडिकल इज वॉट दिस फिफ्टी सो टोटल विल बी वॉट सिक्सटी सो सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू वट सिक्स टू फोर राइट so if i cancel this by 13 this will become 5% and this will be equal to what 13 4 times okay 13 4 times is 52 and then 104 so 13 8 times so this will be uh, 4 into 848 so 5% is 48 okay so total number will be what this 100% so if i multiply this by 20 again this will be also multiplied by 20 so my answer will be what 960 okay because 48 multiplied by 2 is 96 and then 0 so answer will be what option b okay now let's move on to our question number 4 Now in the fourth question, they are saying the total number of employees in Hindustan company increased by twenty percent from December two thousand fifteen to December two thousand sixteen. Okay, so initially it was seven hundred. Now it has become one twenty percent of seven hundred. So that in two thousand sixteen, I can say, or you can write here also, two thousand sixteen will be what one twenty percent of this seven hundred, right? Now one percent is what seven. So one twenty percent will be what eight four zero. So this is the total number of employees in Hindustan company in 2016 December. Okay. Now, if 20% of the total number of employees in Hindustan company in December 2016 were agricultural. Okay. So out of this 20% were agricultural graduate. What was the number of agricultural graduate employees in Hindustan in 2016? So we have to find 20% of this. So 84, 840. So we have to 20 find 20%. Now 10% is 84, so 20% will be what 84 multiplied by 2. That is 168. So in this case, answer is what option E. Okay. Now let's move on to our last question. That is the fifth question. Now in the tenth question, they are saying the total number of employees in Mahindra company was three times the total number of employees in Reliance company. Okay. So if, if this is x, this will be what 3x, right? Now if the difference between the number of science graduate employee in Mahindra company and that in Reliance company was 180 okay the difference between the science graduate okay so if i look at this science graduate here it this is 20% and in reliance we don't know about this so we know that this will be total 100% now this is 30 plus 30 60 so this will be 40% okay now the difference between these two is equal to what 180 so i can say that uh, 20% of 3x minus 40% Of x because forty percent of x will give us the total number of science graduate in Reliance and twenty percent of three x will give us the total number of uh, science graduate in Mahindra and the difference between these two is equal to what one eighty. Now this if I take this three here this will become sixty percent and this is forty percent. Now sixty percent of x minus forty percent of x so this will be twenty percent of x is equal to one eighty. Okay so if I cancel this by twenty this will become nine so one percent is what one percent of x is equal to what. Nine, so hundred percent of x will be what? X equal to hundred. So I got the total number of employees in Reliance Company is what? Nine hundred. Okay, and this will be equal to what? Twenty-seven hundred because this is three times. So they are asking what was the total number of employees in Reliance Company? So in Reliance Company, the total number of employees is what? Nine hundred. So in this case, my answer is what? Option C. So with this, I will conclude today's lecture. मैंने जो भी आपको क्वेश्चन बताया, I hope आपको समझ आया होगा. किसी में भी अगर आपको doubt है, तो you can comment down below, and I will try to rectify them as soon as possible. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to IBPS Guide. and also to check out their quality mocks you can visit the description below thank you